Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers at Sanjay-CEM7DL. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, who created the internet and why was it invented? The internet is something we use every single day. But have you ever wondered where it actually came from? Was it a single person's invention, a government project, or something else entirely? Well, get ready, because today we're uncovering the fascinating story of how the internet was born, who made it possible, and why it even exists. Let's dive in right here on History of Simple Things. Long before we had Wi-Fi memes and online shopping, the idea of a global communication network had already been floating around. Science fiction writers like Mark Twain and H.G. Wells imagined something similar to the Internet in their stories. But in reality, the need for such a system became apparent in the 20th century. Governments, military organizations, and universities needed a way to share information quickly and efficiently. The Internet didn't just pop up out of nowhere, it was born out of necessity. In the late 1950s, the Cold War was in full swing, and the United States feared that a nuclear attack could cripple its communication systems. The U.S. Department of Defense needed a way to ensure that important information could still be transmitted even if part of the network was destroyed. This led to the creation of ARPA, the Advanced Research Projects Agency. In 1969, ARPA developed ARPANET, which is considered the first version of the Internet. It was designed to connect research institutions and allow them to share information. The very first message was sent between UCLA and Stanford, although it wasn't exactly smooth. They tried to send the word login, but the system crashed after just two letters, sending only L-O. Not the most epic beginning, but it was the start of something revolutionary. While ARPANET was a government-funded project, it was built by brilliant scientists and engineers. Two key figures were Leonard Kleinrock, who developed the concept of packet switching, a way to break down data into small chunks and send it efficiently, and Vinton Cerf, often called one of the fathers of the Internet. Cerf, along with Robert Kahn, developed the TCP IP protocol, essentially the rules that allow different networks to talk to each other. Without their work, the modern Internet as we know it wouldn't exist. For years, the Internet was mostly used by government agencies and universities. But in the 1980s and 1990s, things started changing. Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist, invented the World Wide Web in 1989 while working at CERN. He created HTML, URLs, and the first web browser, making it possible for everyday people to access and navigate the Internet easily. This was a game changer. Suddenly, the Internet wasn't just for researchers and the military, it was for everyone. At first, the Internet was developed to improve military communication and academic research. But as technology evolved, so did its purpose. It became a way for businesses to grow, for people to connect, and for knowledge to be shared instantly. It wasn't just about defense anymore. It became a tool for global communication, entertainment, and innovation. Today, it's hard to imagine life without it. Fast forward to today, and the Internet is everywhere. We use it for social media, streaming, education, business, and even controlling smart homes. It has evolved far beyond what its original creators could have imagined. And the future? Well, with advancements like AI, 5G, and the metaverse, the Internet is only going to get bigger, faster, and more immersive. As the Internet expanded, the need for infrastructure to support it became crucial. Internet service providers, ISPs, emerged as the backbone of connectivity, allowing homes and businesses to access the web. 
Companies like AOL, Comcast, and AT&T played a major role in making the Internet accessible to the general public, moving us from the days of dial-up modems to high-speed broadband connections. In the early 2000s, social media changed the way people interacted online. Platforms like MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, and later Instagram and TikTok turned the Internet into a place of global connection. What started as a military communication tool was now shaping culture, politics, and even revolutions. The Internet was no longer just about sharing information. It became a platform for voices from all over the world. With the rise of the Internet came new challenges. Cybersecurity threats, hacking, and data privacy became major concerns. Governments and companies scrambled to protect user data, while hackers found ways to exploit vulnerabilities. As we rely more on the Internet for everything from banking to healthcare, ensuring security has become a top priority in the digital age. The Internet is still evolving, and new innovations are shaping its next chapter. Concepts like Web3, blockchain, and decentralized networks are being explored to create a more secure and user-driven Internet. As artificial intelligence and virtual reality continue to grow, the way we experience the Internet will likely change dramatically in the years to come. So who created the Internet? It wasn't just one person. It was the result of decades of research, innovation, and collaboration. From the early ideas of science fiction writers to Cold War necessity, from government-funded experiments to the creation of the World Wide Web, the Internet has a fascinating history. And the best part? It's still evolving. Ultimately, the Internet is what we make of it. It has connected billions, revolutionized industries, and redefined how we live and work. But with great power comes great responsibility. As users, creators, and innovators, we all play a role in shaping the future of the Internet. Will it remain a tool for knowledge, creativity, and connection? Or will it be dominated by misinformation and control? That's up to us. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.